Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I paint clouds. I've been seeing a ton of people painting clouds on things lately, so I hope that this video is helpful. For this project, you'll need something to paint on. I'm using a canvas that I got from the Dollar Tree, but you can paint on anything that you'd like. You'll also need some acrylic paint. I'm using the Arteza set of 60 acrylic paints that I have, but any type of paint will work. This is optional, but I decided to use a medium to slow down the drying time of the paint to help me blend it more easily. The first step is to paint the sky. You could make this any color or combination of colors that you'd like, but I went with a simple blue gradient. You might find it helpful to look up examples of skies online for inspiration. I used cobalt blue, my darkest blue, at the top of the canvas, going about a third of the way down. If you're working on a canvas like I am, don't forget to paint the edges as well. Next, I mixed the cobalt blue with sky blue and blended that with the cobalt blue that was already on the canvas. Then, I went in with sky blue and painted down a bit further. For the bottom of the sky, I mixed my sky blue with white to create a fairly smooth gradient. Don't worry if it's not 100% perfect, because when we paint the clouds, it will hide any small imperfections. Next, we'll need to decide what color or colors we want to use to shade our clouds. I decided to give my clouds a purple undertone, but I'd use gray if you want a more traditional look. I paint clouds in four layers, using the darkest color first and working my way up to white. I started with a really dry brush, making sure not to put too much paint on it. For the base of my clouds, I used a mixture of violet, cool gray, and a small amount of white. When painting your clouds, you'll want to make them flat at the bottom and more puffy towards the top. Here's a look at what my clouds looked like after putting down the first layer. The next layer on the clouds is going to be a little bit lighter. For this layer, I used the exact same colors, except this time I added less purple and more white. Starting with a dry brush, go over the base of your cloud, making sure to leave a bit of the base color showing at the bottom to create a shadow. Here's what your cloud should look like so far. Next, go in with an even lighter color. This time I used mostly white with just a tiny bit of the other two colors. You'll want to focus this color mainly on the top of the cloud. If you want, you can push this color up a little bit further on the cloud as well to make the cloud a little bit bigger. To add depth to your cloud, you can add small puffs of this color more towards the bottom. Here's what your cloud should look like once that's done. The last step is to add highlights to your cloud using pure white. When adding your highlights, try to think about where the sun is coming from and go from there. For example, I decided that the sun is coming from the left in this scene, so I concentrated the white highlights more toward the left of each puff on the cloud. It isn't an exact science, so don't freak out if you mess up on one of the clouds like I did. For some reason, I used my finger to kind of blend the paint together. Don't ask, I don't know why, but that's a choice. So here's how my finished cloud painting turned out. Obviously, you know, I'm no Bob Ross, but it was really fun to make, and it's definitely a step up from how I used to paint clouds. So here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shoutout in my next video, go to my art hacks video that I just posted and let me know if there's any art hacks that you use. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.